Welcome to A Course in Miracles Workbook for Students, Lesson 56. Our review for today covers the following. Review of Lesson 26. My attack thoughts are attacking my invulnerability. How can I know who I am when I see myself as under constant attack? Pain, illness, loss, age, and death seem to threaten me. All my hopes and wishes and plans appear to be at the mercy of a world I cannot control. Yet perfect security and complete fulfillment are my inheritance. I have tried to give my inheritance away in exchange for the world I see, but God has kept my inheritance safe for me. My own real thoughts will teach me what it is. Review of lesson 27. Above all else, I want to see. Recognizing that what I see reflects what I think I am, I realize that vision is my greatest need. The world I see attests to the fearful nature of the self-image I have made. If I would remember who I am, it is essential that I let this image of myself go. As it is replaced by truth, vision will surely be given me. And with this vision, I will look upon the world and on myself with charity and love. I'm going to read that last line again. And with this vision, our true vision, I will look upon the world and on myself with charity and love. Review of lesson 28. Above all else, I want to see differently. A lot of these are affirmations to help us anchor in our intention. Because in truth, this is our intention. Our intention is to let go of suffering and to choose joy. That's clear. But the ego has its own schemes. <laughs> and it's good to state these affirmations and sink into them and anchor them in because our intention is really what ends up creating our reality. What we want to see, good or bad, because we're choosing attack and vengeance or we're choosing forgiveness and love, is the reality that we will experience. Above all else, I want to see differently. The world I see holds my fearful self-image in place and guarantees its continuance. While I see the world as I see it now, truth cannot enter my awareness. I would let the door behind this world be opened for me that I may look past it to the world that reflects the love of God. Review of Lesson 29. God is in everything I see. Behind every image I have made, the truth remains unchanged. Behind every veil I have drawn across the face of love, its light remains undimmed. Beyond all my insane wishes is my will, united with the will of my Father. God is still everywhere and in everything forever. And we who are part of him will yet look past all appearances and recognize the truth beyond them all. Review of Lesson 30. God is in everything I see because God is in my mind. In my own mind, behind all my insane thoughts of separation and attack, is the knowledge that all is one forever. I have not lost the knowledge of who I am because I have forgotten it. It has been kept for me in the mind of God who has not left his thoughts. Hmm. You haven't lost anything, darling. It's always there for you, being kept safe for you to return home to at any moment. And I, who am among them, am one with them and one with him. Thank you for being here with me. I'll see you tomorrow for Lesson 56.